Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the girl with no head and arms yet again. So I wanted to get this video up really quickly and hopefully I can not fuck up my words too much. <laughs> spring sale just started like an hour ago so apparently it's the 17th I lost track of time I don't even know what day it is I don't even know what my name is but I'm here <laughs> it's uh your girl Renee Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram I'll leave a link below you'll want to follow me I do lots of giveaways. I might even have one up right now. You never know. But today, I know that so many of you have requested for a drugstore favorites. And like I mentioned in my last video, which was also a hands video, <laughs> I say hands because um, you just, it'd be better if you just watch that video so that I don't have to go into the full explanation yet again. And I just thought I'd point out from the last video, when I said I was messy and this was gonna get dirty, this is what I meant. This is, this is just, I'm just gonna throw it. Cause that's what I do at things that piss me off. Um, I couldn't do that with my ex. So he's no longer here. Um, and so I wanted to just show you a few things that I would highly recommend that you get at Sephora. One I know is currently sold out. I am on the email notification list because I am actually almost empty. And so I'll just start with this, the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. Unfortunately, I have had to put a different lid on there to, um, you know, keep it safe, but I don't have it on there right now. Obviously you can see I am running low. I know that a lot of people like collect, uh, lip scrubs and lip exfoliants and it's really hard because I am so just addicted to this fresh one. And there's a reason why there's you know, 2000 comments and reviews on it on Sephora. So I just am addicted and they're out of stock. So hopefully they restock this. But the one thing, and I checked a few of these things prior to pressing the little record button right there, that they were in stock right now. I can't guarantee, you know, as the sale goes on, but definitely these first two things, or the first thing that I'm gonna show you, if you don't have it, just get it. <laughs> That's just all I'm gonna say. I um, am gonna need to actually get another one. So those of you that know me, or have been with me for any length of time on Instagram, know that the love goes deep for the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. They just brought it back recently, maybe a month or so ago, I believe. So it is currently still on Sephora's website, in stock, and you need it. I have to be really careful in opening mine because um, like I mentioned, it's it's my favorite. So I'm not gonna be able to tilt it as much as I want to because I don't want it all over my beautiful marble contact paper. But, oof, yeah, 
there goes some chunks. So yes, I do need a new one. That is um, without a doubt in my foreseeable future. But you guys, like this, I think that it could work for any skin tone. I love the vari variety. I love that the fact that there's some warmer shades and some cooler shades. And then this white, those of you that have been with me also know that I am uh, very prone and addicted to putting Forever Lit in my inner corner highlight. And if you apply it, um, if you like spray your brush with a little bit of setting spray or fix plus or whatever and then dip it it just it intensifies it even more so i know my nails are gross you guys they they really are clean but it just doesn't look at it like look like it but look at just how insanely pigmented that is my other favorite shade in here is the Forever Young, which is kind of the cooler, taupey type shade. It actually really reminds me of um, Becca, the opal shade. Okay, there, there you go. So those are those. Stop what you're doing. Go order the palette if you don't have it thank me later. Just, just know that this isn't a soft, subtle highlight. If you want that, you might not like this, but the A23, I believe is the brush name for the Anastasia, it is the only brush that I just gravitate towards for hi highlighting my cheeks. I can't seem, I have other brushes Obviously, I've, you know, lots, lots of brushes. By the way, um, my friend Susie on Instagram, Glitter Madness, she makes these. And I'll leave her Instagram page down below so you guys can go check her out. She is such a sweetheart and now I believe she's making some tumblers too so definitely go check her out um moving on just a few skincare things I love this belief pore cleanser foam cleanser it really foams up and I'm kind of a weirdo when it comes to cleansers and toothpaste I really I really and shampoo I really like that lather up feeling. If I don't get that, I feel like I'm it's not cleaning me properly. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but so just so you can see um, just how foamy it is. It has a really refreshing sound, sound, <laughs> smell. Kind of like a, uh, eucalyptus maybe it just kind of has that spa scent but man I love that cleanser and the origins out of trouble mask I've mentioned this before they also make this mask and the charcoal one in these little pods or at least they did so those come in really handy for either trying out the mask if you don't want to commit to the full bottle or um, for travel, they work great for that too. I just, this mask is my everything. It also has a really nice scent to it, kind of like a mint, um, and I believe it has tea tree oil in it. So I, I love that scent, something about it. Um, one brush that I feel like people don't really talk about, so I wanted to mention it. This Benefit Cosmetics Hula, it's a contour bronzing brush, but I wish that you guys could feel just how soft this is. I'm trying to get it as close to my phone as possible without actually knocking my phone over. 
but hopefully you can see just the bristles on this. And obviously I love the bamboo handle, but it is just so soft and the shape of it, this dome shape, I find it is really, really easy to bronze with and kind of gives that really, it's easy to give the soft diffused bronze look. This isn't necessarily your harsh contour uh, brush, but I mean, it's got the looks, it's got the feel, it's got everything you could want in a bronzing brush. So that's from Benefit and they do still have it on Sephora. I checked for you, you're welcome. Uh, concealer, I have been loving the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. My ring light is actually behind my Alex drawers, which my phone is propped up. So I apologize of the lighting when my hand gets close to the phone. It's like great lighting over here, not so great right here. So yeah, sorry. You get what you get. Uh, I have this in the color 30 CP because I wanted more of a cool shade for brightening. I find that the warmer shades, since I have an olive skin tone, if I'm with the foundation shade needing to be more on the neutral, slightly warm side, I have to, I, I like having a concealer that has a little bit of a more neutral pinkish tone to it. So as you can see, the coverage is absolutely amazing. You can see right there how it just covered my veins or my vein. And I, I am a veiny girl. So love, love, love this. It just covers well. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't cake up. Um, of course, I set it, but I set every concealer. Speaking of setting, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is the Blurring Powder Foundation. I have mentioned this before, uh, but I wanted to mention again because it is my holy grail. I was on the bandwagon of MAC, the um, Studio Fix powder foundation and then I tried out I believe it was it cosmetics I don't know I can't bore you with the details we're running out of time here but this powder is so amazing by far the best coverage in a powder foundation I don't typically like powder foundations but for, you know, just evening out your skin tone or going to the grocery store because where else can you go these days? <laughs> but um, for reference, I, I'm like light, medium, more on the medium side of olive toned and I am in the shade Y315. I wish I could, it's just it's really hard to do a swatch of this powder because it really um, is, you know, my, my skin tone. So I love that. They have tons of shades and definitely consider picking this one up. It just, it, it does everything that it says it's going to do and then more. And then just um, two palettes I'm going to mention really quick and a bra thing and, and a lipstick and we're done. Um, so the Huda Beauty and the Anastasia Amrezi palette. Also, I did notice that the uh, Anastasia, the Carly Bible palette is actually on sale. I think $22 right now. I'm not positive if 
the sale, um, the spring sale code applies to things that are already on sale, but, um, you know, that's in the fine print and I'd have to get out my glasses and it's on my phone and I just, I just can't, I just can't do that for you. But, uh, definitely look at that cause it's an amazing palette too. And it's kind of sad that it's on sale already. Cause I would imagine that it, I thought it did pretty well, but anyways, moving on the Anne Racy palette, there goes the brush, but you know, that's fine. The colors in this just like Liddy. <laughs> This shade is bananas. It's actually called Liddy, but it's bananas. I mean, of course you're going to have fallout because this is almost like a glitter just, but I mean, really? She was not playing around. And then I also love the pink which I don't, I'm not a huge pink lover, but this pink shimmer shade, there is something about it that just, and I just did a really light swatch. It's actually much more pigmented than it is showing on my phone due to the strange lighting. And then the other palette that I wanted to just quickly mention the Huda Beauty, the nude, and they do have, you know, they have the nude, light, medium, dark. This is the medium. So I just love these. They're perfect for travel. I have uh, just about all of these <laughs> because I find that the quality of these, to me, sometimes these surpass her larger palettes. I feel like the quality is more on par. These seem um, more pigmented, easier to blend, smoother, just, yeah. So I love these. I love any of the Obsession palettes though. So, but this is just my newest one. I haven't picked up the any of the pastels, just not really feeling them. They don't seem like they're pigmented enough. In my opinion, I have the Norvina Mini Volume 3 in my cart on Sephora. And so definitely going to get that. Um, the Urban Decay Brow Endowed. Also, definitely have mentioned this before. I'm going to try to actually insert a clip. I have me applying this on my brows. What I love is that one side has a primer and I love how just tiny the brush is. Ooh. So you can get such easy precision and then the color side is the same way. So this is the shade Neutral Nana, right there, this one. And with the primer and this color on top, your brows stay on. I've even slept with just the brow product on before and woken up with still Good brows in the morning. I also love um, Benefit's Gimme Brow and their Precisely My Brow. Love those too. Just notable mentions. So I chose a few lipsticks that are on, you know, Marc Jacobs is definitely fancier, you know, than, than MAC or, you know, Too Faced or some of those brands, but I love this formula. And this is the shade No Angel. <laughs> it's kind of like me. So here is No Angel. I feel like it might be better to, and maybe I'll insert 
flips of it. But I personally love that it isn't too cool and it isn't too warm. I feel like this would suit just about any skin tone for that reason, kind of like a universal nude. So yeah, this is 242, no angel, Marc Jacobs. And then this YSL is one of the oils, the Volute Sheer Candy. Crap, should have brought my glasses. Eight. I'm going to go with eight. Final answer. So don't, don't get scared of the purple because when I put it on somewhere on my hand here, you will see that this purple is nothing to be scared of because it actually is a very, very beautiful color. So I don't have anything right here. So I'm going to put it right there. So it's just a sheer, you know, wash, but it, it it's actually a kind of pinky purple, like an orchid type shade. These are so moisturizing and um, comforting, soothing, nourishing, and I love the scent they have to them. These don't have that typical um, YSL lipstick fragrance. So that's it for now. Wait, one more, one more. The Fenty Beauty Body Lava, she has more colors now. This one by far is my favorite body luminizer. Let's see. I'm gonna just make a mess of myself. So this is the bronze one, but for summertime, I mean, what I love is that it blends out really good, as you can see there, and just gives a little shimmer. Perfect for legs, just probably don't wanna wear like white shorts or anything or just make sure you put it on your uh, lower legs, <laughs> your lower legs. Yep. Okay. It's official. I need to go to bed and I just wanted to get this up for you guys. I'll leave all the information for the Sephora sale below, but I know that it did start today for Rouge. Anyways, I love you. I am a mess. What's new? But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions on any of these products that I mentioned, let me know. I'm, I'm very familiar and have been using all of these for a while now. So um, yeah, I love you and take care. And hopefully this is the beginning of me being a little bit more consistent on YouTube, even if you don't get to see my face because I'm missing teeth. But I love you. Have a good night.